I think it's really important to break down this GDP number because next week it's going to look pretty uncomfortable optically for the Federal Reserve. Negative GDP, inflation surging, but you break down that GDP figure, Mike, and it's less scary. Yeah, the Fed is probably going to be okay with this. It's Joe Biden and the Democrats who have to worry because obviously this is going to be a Republican talking point. The economy grows 6.9% in the fourth quarter and then shrinks 1.4% in the first quarter. But as you say, break it down. Consumers, okay, a little bit lower than anticipated. That might get revised up, but that added 1.8% to GDP. Business spending, look at that. Non-residential fixed income up 9.2%, another addition to GDP, but inventories, 34 billion less than they were in the fourth quarter. That's subtracting eight tenths of a percent and trade. 191.6 billion dollars subtracted from GDP because of net exports, and that subtracted 3.2 percent. Add that back in, and you have a reasonable first quarter. So, uh, what's going on? Well, all those ships that were off sea, uh, off the coast of California back in uh, ca uh, in December and uh, November finally landed in the first quarter, and all that stuff gets counted as imports and subtracts from GDP. Uh, we also saw a lot of inventory build in the first quarter. Stocks are full now, so we see less inventory build. So the Fed isn't going to be as concerned because as long as consumers and businesses are still spending, they'll still be hiring and the economy won't be as uh, vulnerable to rate increases as you could think. Is this easy to explain politically? Mike, on Wall Street, I understand the breakdown. I saw it from City, from you, Ian Shepherdson, and Pantheon macro uh, Macroeconomics basically predicted it. But when a consumer already feels the way it does, maybe this GDP number is actually representative of how they feel. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the problem. It will be reflected in negative headlines because most people aren't going to read the stories. They'll just look at the headlines and they'll say, yeah, I knew things were bad. It's the same story with inflation. We got an inflation figure today that was pretty awful, 8% for PCE for a quarterly uh, number in the first quarter. Now we get tomorrow the PCE number for the month of March and we'll see if it was going up or going down. But in either case, people are worried about inflation. And that's hard for the Fed to explain. Uh, why, if you can get jobs, does the economy feel so bad?